Hey everyone, TSIG, that's Nazi iPhone Guy, also known as this iPhone Guy. Click the link in the video right now to go to my other channel. This is a video review of the Beats by Dr. Dre from Monster. But before we get to that, just a quick status update, what's going on. I've been extremely busy with school, I haven't been able to do too many videos. Unlimited Case, my company, www.unlimitedcase.com has been selling like crazy, which is good, but I mean, it's a lot of time that I have to put into it for taxes and books. It's a lot of work. Um, I've also been making videos for my application that will hopefully be in the app store by the time I get back from Mexico, which I'm leaving to in two days. So I won't be making a video definitely from as of today until probably the second or third of December. So I apologize for that as well. Um, also on the news, uh, Essentials of Magic, it's complete. For those of you that don't know, that's my application I've made. Uh, Essentials of Magic, eomagic.com. And we'll have it in the app store as soon as we can. A really, really cool application where you can learn real sleight of hand card magic. So, uh, enough about me. Let's get on to the Beats by Dr. Dre. Now, this is the final review, and I didn't want to do a final review until I was sure I knew how I felt about them. I've had them for about a month and a half now, so, I mean, that's a pretty good indicator, right? So here's the box. Uh, YouTube reviewed or removed my unboxing video because I played some music through the headphones that I wasn't legally licensed to use, so that was retarded. But what it comes with is a hard shell. I'd say hard soft shell. I mean, it's a hard shell case, but it's like a soft case. A carrying case where you can carry a few cables, a few cords, and then the headphones itself. In this compartment, we have a regular or a standard uh, 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 hello audio jack that goes to the 3.5 millimeter so that's awesome if you're a musician they include a little airline adapter which pretty much obsolete this is the lowest quality piece of the package but it's cool that they include one anyway and then you include uh, and then there's included two cords and I'll get into that and then there's all the manuals literature it comes with a nice microfiber cleaning cloth and uh, that's about it. Okay, so that's the box. We know what's in it. Well, how do they sound? This is the review. And uh, so a lot of people, and my experience with a lot of products that are backed up by celebrities, not fantastic. Not because they're not good product, but because because the celebrities behind them, I mean, they're not that great of stuff. I mean, look at look anything that a celebrity endorses. It's not quite as high a quality of product for what you pay. The beads are something different. The Beats are very pricey. Uh, I have the Studio Beats. They run, they retail th for $299.99. I got mine for $225, brand new off of eBay. And, uh, you know, that was with shipping and all, all that good stuff. But, I mean, so they're not cheap at all. And there's a lot of solutions out there that are really, really good. Now, I wouldn't call myself an audiophile, but... I don't think I'm ever going to use a headphone that isn't as good as the Beats because, I mean, these things are incredible. I didn't even realize it until I listened to it. I had, I mean, other people are like, oh, I just use the ones that come with my iPod. They work great, you know. Those are the people where I'm like, oh, you have no idea what's going on. But I had some nice headphones, you know, Bose in-ears. I had some Audio-Technica over-ears. $100 to $150 headphones. They were good, right? They were good. And, uh, I mean, I had Woody's Sonics 3s from Lentech, which are awesome, by the way. But, I mean, I had a bunch of stuff, and I, I loved music, but it wasn't like something I relied on. It wasn't something I listened to all the time. But the beats, I can honestly say, changed it. And uh, I'll get into that in a minute. So, uh, there's a detachable cable, which is really nice, because when you're stowing away, and as a musician, I drum all the time. And when I'm drumming, I've had headphones in the past that I bought from actual drum companies. But, I mean, they tear. You're going around and your cable rips, and your cable, your whole headset is worthless. This, if you rip a cable, if you break something, it's fine. Your headphones are still good. You just need to get yourself a new cable. Which, granted, is expensive, but, hey, you know, let's face the facts. Okay, so as for the cable itself, this is a really, really thick cable. Which I love about the Beats, because guess what? They never tangle. Here's a cable from some Woodies, and here's the Apple headphones themselves. As you can see, these cables are pretty small, right? Well, look. 
The beets dwarf them in size. I mean, this cable is two, three, four times thicker than your regular Apple headphone cable, which is really good because it doesn't tangle easy. It's high quality and it, uh, it's pretty bold. It looks pretty cool. So in the new Beats, uh, the studios anyway, it comes with the, this cable right here. And it comes with another cable that you can plug in because guess what this cable does? Look familiar? Yes, that is none other than the button that controls your iPhone, iPod Touch, and newest 6th generation iPod Classic. So cool, right? I mean, that's a physical button. So on your iPhone, you know, there's a microphone right there so you can take calls, I'll do all that from your iPhone. You can use it as a voice memo player on your iPod Nano. A bunch of really cool stuff. As for the mic quality itself, it's really quite excellent. It's not the greatest out there. I think the Lentex Sonic three had a better quality, but it's good nonetheless. And then this whole thing is a button. Now I'm not sure how I feel about this because the only the very, very lower or top membrane, focus please, camera, won't focus. Anyway, so as you can see, there's this box and then there's a physical layer underneath that fluctuates when you push it. So instead of moving the whole brick, it's really like this part, this really, really tiny part is the button. It still works, but when you go from an angle, you can't get it from the bottom, you can't get it from the top, you have to go dead center on this side of the brick, which is kind of a pain. It doesn't have up and down volume, so that means it will not be compatible with your third generation iPod Shuffle. So there you go, I mean, they're both monster branded, gold plated, 16 karat gold, I think, uh, headphone conductors, but other than that, pretty, pretty average. All right, so here's the physical headphones themselves. They have a folding design so that you can store them both in your carrying case and I mean, they get quite a bit smaller. They're not compact by any means because I have a pretty large hand and I'm you know, struggling to get them all the way around. But there they are, you fold them out and they are plastic, but they feel like extremely high quality. Now, I've had Audio-Technica in the past, which I think they make superb equipment. If you're not looking to spend $300 on headset, then definitely check out Audio-Technica. They make excellent stuff for really, really super cheap. But the construction on the Audio-Technica I always thought was pretty good. This is superior. Now, on the outside, it's a glossy black or white, um, your choice. I would recommend white personally because I think they look cooler, they have a higher resale value. And this is my problem with the black, fingerprints, like crazy. Now granted the white will do that to you too, but it's not as bad as the black. So these are some, I mean this is some bulk, I can almost flex these as dumbbells. I mean I think they weigh 14 ounces, almost a pound on your head. So these aren't light by any means. So. Monster had to think, well, how are we gonna make this feel comfortable on your head? Well, they have three pads that go over um, all of your ears and whatnot. So here's a pad here, here's a pad here. They're really, really spongy, and uh, they also allow you to breathe. I'm a drummer, and when I play for a long time, I just kinda get sweaty, right? And, not to be gross, but <laughs> my other ones, I'd pull my headphones off, and I mean, there's just sweat that's laced around the cups. Now. I don't know why, I don't know where it goes, but on the monsters, it doesn't. It doesn't go, whether I don't, it causes me not to sweat or it absorbs it, I'm not sure, but it doesn't physically leave residue on here. And then the top, there is a very, very soft padding which will sit comfortably on the top of your nog, your noggin. So on the inside here, we have the left ear, the right ear, which are indicated, maybe if the camera can see it right here and then there's this where you can expand the length and unlike a lot of headphone jack or a lot of headphone sets that are crappy when you extend them this is a metal so it's reinforced and uh, you know you're not going to break it so pretty cool there there's a bunch of screws monster logo and uh, right there we'll reveal to you the model the studio and uh, I think that's just for reinforcement, not positive on that one, don't mark my words, but it's a metal piece as well. And then the padded area on your headset. All right, so 
that's that. That's a tour of that. Now, on the physical headphones themselves, I'm going to sit down on the table, excuse me. Um, on the physical headphones themselves, this is the battery compartment. You simply twist and pull. And there they are. Uh, two AA batteries. Now, a monster very generously includes two, excuse me, I said double, they're AAA batteries. Monster very generously includes two Duracell batteries. I've actually gone through three battery pairs in a month, which is a lot of batteries. You know, I wish they would have done rechargeable battery solutions like a lot of premium headsets out there. It's not a problem. I mean, they still work great, but I wish they would have, you know, gone a little bit more to make that worth the value. Um, they're still good, but batteries do rack up. I mean, they do add up. And I wish Monster would have included a rechargeable solution, but they didn't. And uh, so I'm using Costco Kirkland Signature batteries. You can pick up a pack of like 60 for 20 bucks. Pretty good deal. And they're actually surprisingly good. They last quite a while. Um, I've had them in a month and a half. Two batteries. Duracell's lasted about eh, three weeks, and the Kirkland's lasted about three weeks. So give or take, I mean, pretty good usage. On the physical cap itself, you'll have Dr. Dre's logo and then your serial number. And to get this back on, you simply place it there. Maybe. And you split. Okay, so as you can see, there's a total fingerprint magnet. So that's my biggest complaint about it. And then on this side is a power switch to turn things on and off. And then, this is a little secret a lot of people don't know about. Can you hear that? That is actually a mute button. So when you're listening to music and someone has to talk to you, rather than shuffling around for your music player and pushing pause, you just hold this and it totally mutes everything, turns sound canceling or noise canceling off in here. Now, Monster touts noise canceling. I'm not sure they're great noise cancelers. Uh, Bose definitely do a better job. Audio-Technica, my pair does a little better job at noise canceling. Granted, I mean, you turn it up three quarters of the way of the volume on your iPod and you won't hear a thing, but that's because the volume's up pretty loud. Now, so that's that, and I'm gonna show you my biggest complaint here in a minute, but first, we are going to get the iPod and just do a sound test. Now, the bass on these is excellent. As Dr. Dre, you know, Chronic 2001, baby. I mean, he's got some he's got some serious beats in his music, and some of them are really, really, really low frequency. And a lot of them, people can't even hear with regular headphones. Like, there's a Kanye West song, I don't remember what it was. I was listening to a bunch of different rap songs. Not a huge fan in the first place, but was used, listening to a bunch of different songs for uh, testing these out, and I heard it was a bass note used throughout the whole song. I'd never heard it before. Never. Because I've never had a physical pair of headphones that could reproduce that low of a bass note. And this, these did it. They did it beautifully and it sounded awesome. Okay, so as you can see, they're hooked up to this little controller right here. And I'm going to go get a song that I have the legal rights to use, royalty free music. It's kind of... Eh, you know, I wouldn't call it... You'll just have to hear it and see. But it does have, in the beginning, very, very musical harmonies and very pretty. And then it gets into the, some of the lower bass crisp notes. And uh, so here we go. I'm going to crank all the volume up just so you can get the general idea. Maybe not. We'll go like four-fifths. Okay. Now here's the controller right here. If I push pause, the player will pause. Push it again. And then if I do double, it'll skip to the next track, triple. Starts the track over. Okay, so that's the general idea on these. Pretty cool, right? And uh, so here we go. And here's the biggest problem. You take these and you stick them on the head. Wait a minute. Hold on now. That's my head, right? These leak like crazy. And that's my biggest problem is I hate it, absolutely hate it, when I'm you know, sitting on a bus in another person's car and they're listening to music on their iPod and I can hear their music. It's like, shut up, dude. If, you can, if I can hear your music, it's too loud. Turn it down, right? And with the Auto-Technicas, I mean, you could crank them all the way up and no one would ever hear them unless they're a few feet away. 
These leak like crazy. This is about four fifths volume, not even max. You cover them, nearly no. I mean, they just leak. So everyone around you can hear your music five, 10 feet away. And this was something I addressed to Monster saying, well, is this a problem with my unit? And you know, I've got reactions from other people and people say, no, the, the beats leak. So that is my biggest single complaint. As for the physical music itself, this song is like 750 kilobits, super high quality. And it's obviously not gonna sound great because it's going through the microphone in my Canon HF11. It's a good microphone, but you know, uh, nonetheless. And so trebles are extremely, extremely crisp. I'm very impressed by them because usually, and I mean, the thing is that's cool nowadays is you get headsets that produce awesome bass, I mean, awesome lows, but then everything else is mediocre. Mids are ignored, trebles are ignored, and you just got a boom and bass in your head, and it's like, well, what's the point in that? I wanna hear everything, not just the bass. And so these, I would have thought that, you know, bass was their main focus, and I think it was, but they didn't forget treble or mids at all. The treble is incredible. I'll start it over, it's gonna end. Uh, the treble, was incredible. I mean, it's super crisp. You can hear every single note. Uh, I listen to a lot of music like Keen, a lot of really instrumental stuff, and it's just cool because you can honestly hear stuff that you never heard in your life before, but you can hear them because the beats reproduce that sound you can't normally hear on regular headsets. Really cool. As for the mids, they're pretty dang good. They're not perfect. They're a little bit muddled, if you ask me. And I played around with my equalizer a little bit and I got a little better, but I wish they would have done just a little bit more to make those mids crisp. But don't get me wrong, they're still good. And that bass is booming, man. Um, I, um, I actually have bass reducer on right now because it's a little too overpowering for me. You know when you're at a rock concert and you're right next to the sub and your heart, your whole like body is just like pounding to the beat? It's kind of what it feels like with these on. It's really, really overpowering in my opinion. But it's not a problem because you just turn bass reducer on, on your iPod, music player, and it fixes it, you know. And so that's one good feature that uh, I like is it responses really well to EQ. I've never really found EQ that helpful um, with headphones because, I mean, they're, they're kind of just play one sound, you know. And these, you can tell the difference between vocal, uh, treble booster, bass booster, you can even tell the difference between jazz and rock. I mean, it really, really is cool. And so I use EQ a lot now with these beats. Now, 300 bucks, that isn't cheap at all, by any means, actually. And a lot of people won't be willing to spend that. Well, there's the studio beats, which run, if I'm correct, 199, could be 179. <laughs> Don't mark me on that. I think they're 200. But what they are is they're about half the size of these studios and they're they're pretty cool the solos are still battery operated and they use the same drivers as these but they won't have a quote-unquote noise canceling because they're over ear I mean I shouldn't say that this totally I mean you fit your whole in ear in here and it creates a perfect seal over your head those studio beats are about half the size and they just sit on top of your ear. So you are gonna get outside noises, a bunch of other stuff like that in, but the drivers are exactly the same. So you should, if in a quiet environment, get the same experience. And then they have the $130 tours, which are little in-ear headphones that I've heard are actually quite phenomenal. I wanna try them out. And then they have the Heartbreaks by Lady Gaga, which they just announced, which retail for $99.99 and you can get them at Best Buy, I think, and then on their website directly. There's a few resellers, Best Buy, Apple.com. I'd check eBay out first. Be careful, you wanna make sure it's a reputable seller because these have a map. Uh, manufacturers authorized price of 300 where no one sells them for less than 300. But if you peek around, you can definitely find a pair for 200-ish, 220. You just wanna make sure it's a good seller and they have good feedback because there are definitely fakes of these floating around. I thought mine was a fake at first and I confirmed my cereal with Monster and they said, yeah, these aren't fake. So these are the real deal. Awesome sounding, incredible, incredible headphones. I'm so satisfied with them. Couldn't be happier in all honesty and 
I mean, there they are. So my main complaints, I'll, my, I'll do pros and cons. Uh, we'll start with the cons. Fingerprints, really easy. Music leaks like crazy. If you're in a public environment, it might bother people that they can hear the music you're listening to. Uh, it bothers me, and so when I go out, I try not and use these around my friends and stuff, and you definitely know I use them at school, and on the bus, it may bother some other people that they can hear your music because they will be able to hear your music. That's my single biggest complaint. Uh, it drains batteries really quickly. It just plows through batteries, which is understandable because you do want to do kind of the noise canceling experience. Now, a lot of headphones will play music anyways, and then to turn on the noise canceling, they're self-powered. I mean, the self-powered noise canceling is in headsets, but this is the whole headset. You need batteries to make it work. There is a red indicator when you turn it on. When you're getting low on batteries, it turns amber or yellow. And then you know, oh d darn it, gotta get triple A's pretty soon. Uh, exact hours, I don't know how many hours you could put on a single set of batteries, but it's pretty impressive considering these whole things are run off of two triple A's. They last for a, a pretty long time. So there they are, the Beats by Dr. Dre. These are the studios, retail for $299. You can get them at apple.com, monster.com, uh, what else? Best Buy, your local stores, and bestbuy.com. And then I check eBay over stock. There's a few sites that carry them for less. So my final thesis, 8 out of 10. And simply because they leak. These are the best sounding headphones that I've ever tried under 300 bucks. Now, if you get into over-ear stuff over 300, oh baby, there's some headphones that are better than this. Not a, whole, not a lot better, but better. And if you're looking, if you don't want to spend 300 bucks, I totally understand, you know. And I would look at the Audio-Technica line. There's a few other companies out there that make really, really solid, sure, not sure. There, <laughs> there's a few companies out there that make a lot of really, really solid headphones that are almost as good as the Beats for about half the price. Now, I um, say almost because there's nothing that's as good as these for less than $300 that I've seen, that I've tried. And uh, so there you go, Beats by Dr. Dre, uh, developed by Monster. Final thesis, 10, eight out of 10, leaks. Uh, like crazy music wise that's my single biggest complaint that's really the only two reasons i dock it off that accounts for like 1.9 of those two points and then the other point one is it's a it's a power sucker and the glossy piano black is a fingerprint magnet I haven't tried the white the pearl white but i would imagine that it better just with the nature that white devices don't smudge as easily or appear to be smudged as easily as black devices. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. Go check out my other channel, youtube.com slash this iPhone guy. Check out my website, unlimitedcase.com, for the latest and greatest iPod accessories at the latest prices. We carry element case, contour design, spec, switch easy, all the big guys, so check them out. And... One last note. Oh, Essentials of Magic, eomagic.com, letter E, letter O, magic.com. Check that out and uh, look for the app in the App Store within the next two or three weeks. Exciting, huh? It'll retail for $1.99. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And as always, stay snazzy.